Either you receive the fact that Jesus drank the cup for you, or you drink it for yourself, and there is no alternative. It is one or the other, and you are the one who makes the choice. Several years ago, the state of Missouri was given an interesting dilemma. For a man who was sentenced to be executed was in the last moment pardoned by the governor of the state. And so they came to the death row and they came to the prisoner and they said, you will not die, the governor has pardoned you. And strangely enough, the man said, I refuse the pardon. That created a legal dilemma in the state of Missouri. They had to take the case back to court again to consider once again the court's original judgment that the man should die but under the law, he could be pardoned by the government, but he refused the pardon. The decision that came out of the Supreme Court of the state of Missouri was interesting in that they declared that a pardon is not a pardon unless it has been received, and that man was executed by the state of Missouri. God has pretty much done the same thing. He's offered you a pardon. Jesus Christ drank the cup for you. He bore your sins and the judgment against your sins. And God is offering to you a pardon of sin today. But a pardon is not a pardon until it has been received.